Hello and welcome to another video on algebraic proof. Now in the last video we looked at proving statements like this using algebra and we're going to do something similar in this video but we're just going to do a few different statements and statements that look at odd and even integers. So let's first of all just read this out. It says the sum of three consecutive odd numbers is always a multiple of three. Now what does this mean? Well, we looked at sum in the last video, and that's just the result when we add two or more numbers together. And the word consecutive just meant one after the other. But this time, instead of all integers, now we've only got odd numbers. So things like one, three, and five, these are consecutive odd numbers because they are one odd number after the other. Or we could have 17, 19, and 21. Or we could go really big and we could say something like 99, 101, and 103. These are also three consecutive odd numbers. So what we're saying is that the sum of these consecutive odd numbers, so when we add them all together, we should get a multiple of three. So first of all, let's just see that it works for these three examples, and then we'll try and prove it using algebra. So what is one plus three plus five? Well, that gives us nine, that's quite easy. And nine is definitely a multiple of three because it is three times three. Now let's have a look at the next example, 17 plus 19 plus 21. So let's first of all do 19 plus 21 because I know that's 40. And 40 plus 17 is 57. So 57, that is also a multiple of three. That is three times 19. And, and uh, if you play darts, you'll know this straight away because it's quite a common, um, Common, uh, common score in darts, 57, treble 19. And now the last one, 99 plus 101 plus 103. Well, these two numbers added together are 200, and 200 plus 103 is 303. And then again, that is also a multiple of three, that is three times 101. So it works, or it seems to work for these three examples, but does it work for every possible combination? of three consecutive odd numbers. And to do this, we need to represent an odd number using algebra. So first of all, let's think about even numbers. How could we represent an even number using algebra? Well, we just need to know that all even numbers are multiples of two. So we could say two times n is an even number because it doesn't matter what we put here for n. Okay, as soon as we multiply by two, that becomes even. So for example, if n was nine, 9 times 2 is 18, that is an even number, so this will always be even. Now, how can we turn this from an even number into an odd number? Well, it's quite simple really, we can just add on 1. So as soon as we add on 1 to something, if we were, if we did have an even number here and we add on 1, this will now be an odd number. So it doesn't matter what we put in here, this expression will always be odd. So if this is our first odd number, what will our next consecutive odd number be? What will the next odd number be after this one? Well, we know that odd numbers go up in twos. For example, one, three, five, seven, nine, etc. So we just need to add on two to this expression. So if this is our first odd number, our next odd number will be 2n plus three. And then our next odd number after this, we're just gonna add on another two. So it's gonna be 2n plus five, and we can stop there because we're only interested in the first three consecutive odd numbers. So let's add these three odd numbers together and simplify. So 2n plus 2n plus 2n, if we collect like terms, that becomes 6n. Now let's add the numbers together. We've got one plus three plus five, which gives us nine. So we've got 6n plus nine. Is that a multiple of three? Well, yes, it is a multiple of three because both numbers are divisible by three. What we can do, we can factor out a three. And if you're not sure about factorizing, I encourage you to look back at a previous video. But I think if you're if you're watching a video on algebraic proof, you probably do know how to factorize. So if we if we divide both numbers by three, six n divided by three is two n, and then nine divided by three is three. So this here, because we can divide both numbers by three. It is a multiple of three. It doesn't matter what number we put in here for n in our brackets. As soon as we multiply by three, we have a multiple of three. So we have just proved this statement here because we can multiply this whole expression by three. 
Okay, so we're going to try and prove one more statement here, but this time we're not going to use any examples. We're going to get straight on to proving it using algebra. So here it says the sum of three consecutive even integers is always a multiple of six. So the only difference here is that instead of odd numbers, we've got even numbers. And we spoke about even numbers. How could we represent even numbers using algebra? Well, we could say that 2n is an even number because it is divisible by 2, or this number here is in the 2 times table. So let's use this as our first even number. And we're going to add on our second even number. Well, remember, even numbers go up in 2s. So the next even number after this will be 2n plus 2. And then the next even number after this will be 2n plus 4. So 2n, that's our first even number. This is our second even number. And this is our third even number. And what we're saying is that the sum of these numbers is always a multiple of 6. So let's add all of these numbers together. 2n plus 2n is 4n. 4n plus 2n is 6n. So that gives us 6n. And now let's add the numbers together. We've just got 2 plus 4 which gives us 6. And is this a multiple of 6? Well, yes, this is definitely a multiple of 6 because if we're multiplying by 6, that will be a multiple of 6. And then if we add another 6 on, well, we've still got a multiple of 6, but let's just factorise like we did up here. We can, we can divide both numbers by 6, so we can factor out a 6. So 6n divided by 6 is just n, and 6 divided by 6 is 1. So whatever we've got in here, we are adding 1, but then we are multiplying by 6. And as soon as we multiply by 6, this becomes a multiple of 6. So this number is always a multiple of 6. So we have just proved this statement here, that the sum of three consecutive even numbers is always a multiple of 6. So hopefully you found this interesting. And in the next video, we're going to continue our journey with algebraic proof. And we're going to go on to some slightly more tricky examples. I hope to see you then.